I thought he did some good things. Uh, we cannot turn the ball over, which is one thing we did, but he, he has some big plays for us. Uh, scouting department knew he could play. I think we got a good guy, uh, especially the round in which we got him. What's the teaching point on that fumble? Got to put two hands on it. Uh, in traffic, you got to put two hands on it. And uh, I think that would have prevented it. What's going to be the biggest indicator that he can pick up a blow? You've done too much out here. No, but we've seen uh, during the pass protection drills that we have that he can pick up a blitz. So, like it's, yeah, I like what I see. Hey. Tom, did you talk to uh, Kareem during that those couple of days when he didn't want to go on team drills? Did you have a talk with him, or how did that unfold? No, that's his business. I don't have anything to do with it. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. I think so. He has more speed than Kareem. Uh, but yeah, he can catch the ball. He can run routes. Uh, he can do it all. So do you see him the final product of him being a third down back? He can do it all. First, second, third down. Yeah, he can do it all. When you look at that room, there's so many guys when you add your own group that seem to be really talented. Um, how do you juggle having so many guys back there? Well, you know, COVID the past couple of years have uh, handle that for us, unfortunately. Uh, so the more talent we have, the, the better it is. Uh, Dearness last year against, uh, I think it may have been Green Bay had to come out late uh, because we had some guys out. So, uh, you know, unfortunately guys get hurt. You just can't have enough good players at any position. Where's Demetrius team at right now? He's, I know he's bouncing between running backs and receivers, but just your uh, viewpoint, where do you think he's at as running back? Well, unfortunately, I don't think anything has been kind of fair for Dimitri because he is that tweener. He doesn't get a chance to spend enough time at receiver or enough time at running backs. And I think he's getting slighted. He could play both positions. Uh, so uh, we're glad to have a guy like that. Unfortunately for him, uh, like I said, injuries happen and he's the first guy we moved to, to that position. He does. He's on uh, uh, kickoff team. He's on uh, punt team, uh, kickoff return. So yeah, he's on a, a number of the but teams. He, take return, uh, reps. he did yesterday. Oh, yeah. Do you see Kareem like any like the, you know any new determination or any? I mean, he had a rough year last year, you know, in and out. So do you see him kind of fired? This well, right now he's healthy. You know, he's 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 hungry to play football. Uh, so uh, if he if he can stay healthy, he'll be he'll be ready to perform the way he he's performing. Hopefully, better. I don't think any of the running back coaches Kareem have had, including me, being number one, has gotten the most out of Kareem. Uh, he's a physical, talented guy, but we got to get him to play within. The, well, I have to get him to play within our system, and then. <laughs> You all have not seen the best of Kareem by no stretch of the imagination. Well, why is that? Because of the type of player he is. I mean, he's an aggressive player. Uh, he needs to be just a little more patient, and uh, and then he the he can be the best in the league. Even the Chiefs season wasn't the best of Kareem. No, no, no. What was wrong no. with that one? Uh, he was physical, but he didn't give his offensive lineman an opportunity sometimes to make the blocks. Uh, because he cut too fast. Uh, but that's because of his hunger. We got to teach him to be a little, I got to teach him to get, to be a little more patient uh, because he's by four uh, much better than a 4.9 uh, yards per carry back. Have we, have we seen the best of Nick Chubb? No, hell no. We haven't seen the best of Nick Chubb either. No. So then what then? Nick's got to be a little more patient. He's got to attack defenders. He's got to make the field longer. Uh, those are things that, that he's working on, and he's catching the ball uh, starting from the spring and running routes a heck of a lot better than he's did in the past. So we'll see, see more from him. Do you think part of Kareem's impatience is the fact that he's in this special role and he's in there and he feels? No, no, that's not it. 
because uh, I look at him from college and of course not high school, but college is the same way. A, a talented guy, just want to go right now. He's got to be a little more patient. And with the Chiefs, it's, it's, it was the same thing. Uh, he averaged 4.9 yards. He was he could have been better than that if he was a, a little more patient. So the best of Kareem is yet to come, and, and, and that's awesome. You tell him that. You tell him you have to be more patient. Did you get it? Uh, he hadn't gotten it yet. He understand what I'm saying, but it's a habit that he has to break, and I, and I think he's working on it. He, he's seen that. I mean, De'Aaron is average over five yards. Nick average over five yards. And uh, John Kelly, even though he only had, had two carries, he averaged over five yards. And Kareem w has not. So he knows the system is right. He just got just to gotta make it happen. Well, it's happy. To, I'm, I'm happy to be back. Uh, no question about that. I, I miss being out there. This is what I was born to do, other than play it. Uh, so I'm, I'm extremely happy. I think we got a great team. Uh, we didn't accomplish the things that we should have last year. Uh, it's a new team now. We got to move forward, and we got to accomplish the things that we're capable of playing, of doing. Uh, it's no question. We're very talented. Now we just have to make it happen. Yeah, absolutely we can. I mean, when they're on the field, they, they, they're capable of being the best in the league by, by far. Since Kareem's come back to those team drills, have you seen the same focus that you always have? Have you seen any difference in him? No, I think he's, he's playing to, to, uh, to be the best that he can be. He's practicing to be the best that he can be. Uh, you know, and, and I think our system, our system allows those guys to be the best in the league. Uh, we do a great job of of uh, running the ball, but we also do a great job of our play action fakes and all of that stuff. Uh, I, I just think uh, what Kevin brings as a uh, as a head coach and an offensive coordinator and AVP, I think those guys do a hell of a job. And if, if you guys ever see uh, Coach Callahan with the offensive line, him and Scott Peters, I don't think uh, as a player or a coach I've ever seen anybody work as hard. And I've never seen uh, anyone gets as much out of his players that can or can't play. He makes the best better, and he makes those that are average uh, even better. How can you keep everybody happy? What was that? Uh, with all this talent in your running back room, how are you going to keep these, these guys happy getting enough touches? They have to do their role. I mean, your role to keep everybody happy, not just the, the backs, but the wide receivers, the tight ends, if you're in there on third down, you got to get a first down. Uh, that's that's what you got to do, uh, because I don't think 60 plays, 64 plays are enough for us. I think uh, with the skill guys that we have, we we need to be around 78 to 80 plays in order for everybody to be happy. So when the ball come in your way, you got to catch it. You got to make the first downs. When you're running it, you got to uh, follow your blockers. You got to when we need you to be tough and beat one or two guys, you got to do it. Well, I think it was a concerted effort last year, but unfortunately, uh, either Kareem, well, Nick got hurt first, and then Kareem got hurt. So it's a good idea, but if the guys aren't there, it's tough to do it. And if they're not practicing, it's tough to 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 get a to think you want to do that when you're not getting a look at doing it. You know, we're only going to call what we see. So everybody has to be practicing, got to be healthy, and afford us the opportunity to do that. I think so. You know, uh, Deshaun can run the ball, no question about that. But we didn't we didn't bring him here for, for running the ball. We brought him here uh, because he can pass the ball extremely well, also. I think so. So how do you get those extra fifteen plays just by making first downs? Yeah, catch the ball when you're supposed to catch it. Uh, make the right reads as a runner when you're supposed to do that, and uh, I think it'll take care of itself. Do you think that? 
Uh, yeah, I think I think it's exciting because both of those guys, or I, sh I, sh I should say all of those guys, whether it's uh, Dearness and, and Nick or Jerome and Nick or Kareem and Nick, and whatever combination, uh, I think all those guys can get the job done. And Nick doesn't say a lot to us, but where do you think his motivation comes from? I mean, he doesn't talk about needing to get 2,000 yards or whatever, but what do you think he's motivated by? Uh, what he did the, the prior year. I mean, he's always trying to better himself at whatever he did the prior year, you know, and, and uh, you got to be self-motivated. If if a coach or a fan is more motivated than you, uh, there's a problem. You know, you don't have the love for the game that you that you should have. Yep. When you had your surgery, were you worried that you were going to come back 100%? I mean, I know surgery is a heck of a lot better than when you started playing, but, you know, were you worried about your career? No, I wasn't worried about my career. I was worried about the rehab because it was my uh, third knee replacement. I remember the first one on my left one and my, the first one on my right one. That rehab is just something you really don't want to do, but you have to do. So uh, I was more concerned about the rehab than anything else. Third on the I had three. I had three total on my left. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it, yeah. We love tough decisions at every position. Trust me. We, we love tough decisions at every position because that makes us a better football team. You know, uh, so everything will work out the way it's supposed to. I mean, all these guys believe in God and they believe in themselves. And uh, we'll take it from there. Hey, Stump, I might have I, I zoned out a little bit there. <laughs> when, when, I'm sorry, I want to make sure I ask you when I have a chance. When you talked about if uh, coaches or fans have more enthusiasm than the players have. So where is, since we've seen Nick Chubb so quiet, where, where does he rank in that, uh, as far as that, that drive and that fire? Uh, nobody, uh, the passion that Nick has during the season is exemplified by the things that he do during the off season. I mean, I can't believe he posts stuff actually. <laughs> But but he shows you what type of working out he's doing, uh, catching the ball much better uh, than he did, running routes much better than he did. Uh, he want to be a total back. That you know? weightlifting video had to hurt your knees just looking at it, right? Yeah, it hurt my knees and got me concerned because Nick doesn't wear a belt when he squat either. So, uh, you know, these young guys, man, but he's going, you know, hopefully he's safe and back here and ready for the season. When you say that you feel like the knee just is getting sliding a little, do you like having him in your room full time? I like him to be one place or the other, you know. Uh, but that's not the way it is. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy because he's that guy. We don't worry. If somebody goes down in the running back room, we got Demetri. If somebody goes down in the uh, wide receiver room, we have Demetri. So uh, that was a, a great pick for us as a player. Now for him, of course. It gets frustrating a little bit because he would like to challenge uh, either in the running back or the wide receiver room. Right now, uh, guys get injured, and, and we can't afford afford him that opportunity. But we're so glad to have him because we know we can uh, put him in the game plan. He also returned kickoffs, returned punts. He do it all for us.